Hi, my name's Sue Ellum and I'm a tarot reader and have been for 25 years. And I use a mythic tarot which are based on Greek mythology. And I'm Carrie Bellino. I am an intuitive Reiki master teacher and a spiritual life coach. And I am here to uh, pose the questions that we are hoping to give practical guidance to or for. So today's question. Today's question we answered last week. So I must have duplicated it when I cut up the slips. <laughs> so let's try again. <laughs> At least you remember. <laughs> All right, we have two. So I'm gonna do one and we'll save this one for tomorrow. Okay. We hear a lot about integrity. What does it mean for us? Okay. Be very interested to see what the universe says about this one or what the cards say. I think it's uh, a lot of judgment on integrity right now. Yeah. Okay. Integrity, we're starting off here, it being prepared to walk away from the things that no longer resonate, the things that aren't particularly, um, that are dead in your life. Um, it, and things that also, it's also walking away from things that don't support yourself and others. It can be ideas, um, you know, sometimes, when we we get into integrity if we haven't been particularly in integrity before we find there's a loss of some sort maybe we're not earning as much money as we did when we weren't weren't um weren't focusing on integrity and now we've got to walk away from that because the integrity is um becoming more important but, but once we walk away from something that isn't quite right then we can reorientate ourselves on an inner level as well as on a financial level but it is i suppose i'm thinking it's like somebody who wasn't living a particularly um healthy life i'm not talking about physical health i'm talking about um maybe wasn't being pleasant to people or was it was kind of um just being not the nicest human being put it that way and then something happens and they change and then they start walking in integrity their whole their whole demeanor changes and with walking away they end up with things that are much much better but it does take time from making that making that shift but if you make that shift then you're going to be very proud of yourself you're going to be able to celebrate and I think this is what a lot of times for me integrity is is can you look at yourself in the mirror and know that you've done nobody any harm that you've got nobody coming to knock on the door saying you did this you did that why did you do that you've harmed us um, so it to live in integrity it's to be very very proud of yourself you've you've given a hundred percent to your relationships to your friendships to your working situations and you have reason to celebrate because you've given a hundred percent of yourself it is a case also of coming out of your comfort zones jumping off the cliff into the unknown but the thoughts just come as well i think integrity quite often is the word is used according to what we personally think is in integrity and and one person's integrity is um is, is is not as high as somebody else's you know they think oh well you know i can get away with this i can get away with that so 
if it's not something, I think we all all know if if we're not in complete integrity, then there are things that we will want to hide. There will things that we there's certain people we won't tell that we've done this, or we've done that. And I think that's I think that's quite a good um, if you've got a conscience, of course. <laughs> There's, there's always there's always exceptions to the rule, but it's basically coming out of your comfort zones and being prepared to jump off the cliff into the unknown um, in order to live a life full of integrity and walk your talk. Um, be make yourself prepared um, if you're going. You know, if you're if if your life isn't isn't working as smoothly as you would like. If there's drama in your life, if you're attracting drama into your life, then, then I think you need to look at the integrity um, element in your life. Are you putting up with things you shouldn't put up with? Are you supporting people who aren't living in integrity? Um, because they will get in your way. And the Emperor card is very much about, okay, I've made my plans. I know where I'm going. Walk with me if you'd like, but don't get in my way. I'm going to go there anyway. So this is, again, walking away from people and situations that are dicey, Think, things that you wouldn't want to tell people about, things that... Um, you you can't celebrate, you can't be proud of because they're a bit under the covers. So it's getting to a place when you can actually put your head up high, walk your talk, and not not worry about what anybody thinks because you know that you are walking in integrity. And that's uh, those are the cards. Well, I love that you took us in a direction of individuality and not societal. Because when we say the word integrity, we often think of politicians, um, you know, people in authority with, with integrity. Um, but I'm so glad that you brought it to an individual, um, status because if we aren't working on the integrity of ourselves we can't expect the ripple effect of change to happen if we aren't living in integrity so walking away from doesn't what doesn't serve us is was your first card and that was spot on um with living with it with true integrity uh, the global arena right now is forcing us to live in integrity so we have, and, and, and I want to share that all options are available. Please think outside the box because if you are searching for a new solution or you are um, envisioning a new way of doing or being, it's out there. You can, you can attain it. It's just um, a matter of what you're focusing on. For instance, if medicine is not working for you right now, and this is something that I've experienced, the structured medical community was not working for me. And it didn't feel aligned. It didn't feel like in, in, integrity. And I felt like I was not living in integrity if I was continuing to buy into the system. For me, continuing to purchase insurance or being in a help with healthcare providers, as much as I like them individually, I did not feel like I was living in integrity by putting my money and energy into those systems. So I looked to get out and I was really successful in finding um, a medical professional who is not in the system and finding um, a health share plan that is not the system. And because I asked questions and because I stated what my um, intention was, 
I found those things. Those things came to me. And quite frankly, they were handed to me by other people. I didn't have to find them. People came to me and said, hey, you might be interested in this. So it's happening with education. It's happening with finances. If you aren't happy with the integrity of um, a credit card company and it makes you feel like you are not living in integrity, then you've got to do something about it. You have to end the ties, whatever that looks like. Same with the careers. You know, the job situation has changed all around the world. And what used to work isn't working anymore. So if your employer is asking you to work 14 hour days or 16 hour days, and, and you don't feel like that's living in integrity for you or them, um, say something, speak up, live your integrity. Because the same old, same old can't change if we don't speak up and demand something different. So I'm kind of using this as a call to action to live in your integrity and to dump what doesn't serve you and to change what isn't working and to know that every available option is out there even if you haven't seen it yet. So change your vision, change your intention and um, things will start coming forward for you. Um, yep. And I know a lot of these topics are out of the comfort zone, but I think that's why Sue got that card about jumping off the cliff. And um, yeah, you've really got to um, come out of fear to live in integrity because there, there's, the structure is such that it promotes um, corruption. And, um, and, it, and sometimes it looks as though, as though only the corrupt uh, are, are living a good life, that unless you're corrupt, you're not going to be able to um, achieve. So, and then by buying into that system, it just makes it stronger. But it does take courage. It's, it's not an, an easy choice. And I guarantee you, the corrupt are feeling the shakedown of this, of this crumbling of what doesn't work. I guarantee it. Yeah, that's why it seems to be getting worse. It's like, um, you know, a drowning man. You will, they, they, will, they will drown their, their kind of rescuer because they're in a panic. You know, so, um, yeah. Time for change. Yay, love being on the cutting edge of that. Thank you yeah. for collaborating. Yeah, integrity are us, <laughs> or is us. <laughs> okay, all right, bye from me. And we make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.